Hey everybody, this is Tyler Tapper. So happy to be with you guys here today for another video. I don't know about you, but I have a bunch of different uh, earbuds and headphones that always seem like they get tangled up whenever I throw them into a pile or in the car or wherever I'm putting them. So I decided I was going to make something that I could coil these headphones around. I wasn't going for anything particularly fancy, so for this first one I'm just experimenting. I grabbed some stuff out of my scrap pile. Top on there is oak, and I really have no idea what the bottom is. Winky maybe, or I'm not really sure. Those clamp together and I'll dry it. I went ahead and sawed them into two pieces so I could start getting the shape down that I wanted. I figured it would work if the center was a little bit skinnier than the outside so the cord had a place to kind of rest against. And I just rounded everything off so it'd be comfortable if I threw it in my pocket. With the general outline and shape done, I had drilled a couple of holes in here, two on one side and one on the other, and that was so I could put one of the headphones to reach the holes on the top, wrap it around, and then stick the remainder of the cord through the hole on the bottom to have it stick there. I wanted to make sure that I didn't abrade the wires as they went through there, so I'm coming back here with a countersink bit just to radius the holes off. And then I'm clamping it down, and this is just so the cord has a place to pass through into the hole. messing with it off camera and I was filing out those slots a little bit bigger and I, could cr I cracked it. I was trying to make it so the cord would fit easily into those slots. I figured I needed to do another layer of the veneer. I made it so the grain was pointed the opposite direction on this one so it should give it a little bit more strength and stability for that gear. After I went back through and re-drilled the holes, reshaped everything, and made that bottom piece fit, it was time to test it out. I really didn't have any idea how well this was going to work. It was just kind of an idea in my head, so this was the first time I actually got to put it together and see if the headphones would stay on there. It seemed to work pretty well, so I thought I'd go ahead and finish up the other ones to make a couple more. Just finishing off these with a little bit of boiled linseed oil. I always feel like I have to give the standard disclaimer of laying their rags out flat after you use this. It can get pretty hot when it cures and it can actually catch stuff on fire if you throw it in the trash. With those first two done, I went back in and raided the scrap bin again. Found a little piece of red heart that I thought would be about the right size for it. I'm just cutting some strips of veneer. You can see I'm making sure the grain is going alternating directions. Again, just making it stronger so that when I drill into it, it doesn't crack like that first one did. I think that was even more important with this piece because how the grain of that piece of red heart went um, is I'm gluing on to end grain right here. So when I drill in there, I mean, it, it would just crack really easy if there wasn't that support. For the last one, I grabbed a couple of pieces of veneer that were contrasting colors, one light and one dark, and I'm just going to sandwich those together alternating. And whenever you start sanding into it to reveal it, you can get some kind of cool patterns whenever you're contouring it down to its final shape. It's nice working with the veneer because for the most part you can just cut it down with scissors. You don't have to use any razor blades or saws or anything like that. After I got all those stacked to cut out, I stacked them together and they weren't quite thick enough so I made a few more extra squares off the of camera with the different species because I was out of that walnut. Um, yeah, just gluing them all together and then clamping them up so to make a little plywood block. After you get the edges all even, you can start seeing the alternating pattern coming out of there. And then coming back with the piece of red heart. Let's see what it's going to look like through the side there. So this is where the alternating stuff starts looking pretty cool whenever you grind into it unevenly and start getting multiple layers in the same part. This one I think I definitely did make it a little bit too skinny in the middle. Uh, still works, but ideally I think I think all these would have ideally been a little bit thicker and bigger. For these other guys I decided to go with just a spray-on polyurethane finish, a semi-gloss. I knew I was going to be getting quite a bit of, you know, scratches and stuff so I didn't go full gloss on them. But to make sure they're not touching anything I'm just sliding them on some little nails that I had stuck into my thing for holding tools up there. So I've had a chance to test these out. You know, they work pretty well. Um, if I remade these again, like I said, I would probably make them a little bit bigger. Um, just the, they work okay, but you can see the cords of the longer ones starting a little bit bunched up around the edges. 
Overall, it was a fun, quick little project, though. So I really appreciate you guys taking the time to take a look at my video today. Uh, if you guys haven't already, I'd love if you subscribed, left a like, and I will see you guys soon.